Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, we will be building a very cool looking little robotic arm that can basically learn anything that you want it to learn and then also repeat those tasks until you want it to. So let's get started with the build. All the electronic components that you will see in today's video are from Quads Components. Quads Components is the best place to go to for tech hobbyists and all the students out there. Here you get same day shipping, you get to pay in rupees and that too you have fairly low prices. You also get 3 day free returns and on top of this you get absolutely amazing quality. So guys what are you waiting for? Head over to quadscomponents.com today. The links are in the description below. Now without further ado, let's dive right into the video. I use an Arduino Mega as the brain of the robot. Then I also used a 2.4 inch TFT display to act as a monitor and also a touch display. Then I used two joystick modules to control the robotic arm. Then I also used four MG90S servo motors for the arm itself. I designed a custom PCB to avoid a mess of wires and then got it manufactured by GLC PCB which is one of the largest PCB manufacturers in the world and they have an amazing quality plus they have a very very short turn in time and have thousands of customers already ordering and trusting from them. All you have to do is just upload your Gerber file and wait for them to process it and then just check in the details that you want to meanwhile plus what I did for the project is I also added a very sneaky touch of mine and made the PCB white instead of the ordinary green PCB that everyone orders. The surprising part is that they do all of this for as low as $2 which is out of this world. I soon received the PCBs in an amazing quality and in a very short span of time all the way from China to India. And then after unboxing the package, I proceeded towards soldering the PCB and adding all the required components on it. You can find the schematic diagram for the project below. After I was done soldering, I connected all the components to the PCB after inserting it onto the Arduino board. You can find the schematic for the project down below in the description box. My main aim for this project was to get the functionality going so I didn't bother to build a robotic arm from scratch and instead went ahead with the EasyBot arm which is one of the best open source robotic arms out there. You can find a very detailed instructable on how to put together the parts after getting them 3D printed. I followed the manual and put the parts together and got a very satisfying result with my completed cool looking little robotic arm. I then designed a custom built enclosure in Tinkercad which is one of my favorite softwares especially when I want to save a lot of time. I then uploaded my STL files to IAM Rapid and got an instant quote. I always trust I am rapid for all of my 3D printing needs as they are very quick and have a very less price compared to a lot of other brands out there plus they have an amazing clientele and a huge range of services like 3D printing, CNC machining and much more that you can go ahead to. The link to their website is in the description below. I got the parts delivered to me very quick and printed as usual in a fabulous way. Mm -hmm. 
Then I proceeded towards putting all the components together into the box and just assembling all the components and also finishing up the wiring of the project. Then I finally closed the lid of the control panel using a few screws and put the joystick thumbs into their place. And there we have our completely built robotic arm that looks amazing. Now is the time to actually code it and get the functionality going. I wrote the code which is available in the description box below. You can try it out yourself or use my code if you have any problem coding the robot. Then I uploaded the code to the robotic arm and proceeded towards the final showdown which is actually testing the robot. So the robotic arm has two modes which are manual and automated. Let's first try out the manual mode. So the manual mode is pretty straightforward. You just use the joystick modules to maneuver the robotic arm around and make it do whatever you want to manually. This is really fun because it feels like you are using joysticks to play around with a very cool looking device in real life, which is rare, I guess. Now comes the final moment of truth, the automated mode. This has two sub modes which are play and record. In the record mode, you can save a few checkpoints like I am doing in the video shown here. And then when you play the robot, it should play the steps in the exact sequence as it was meant to. And there we have our fully functional robotic arm that can learn anything and then instantly replicate it for as much time as you want it to. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you really like the video, do drop a thumbs up below and also comment your thoughts on the project in the comments box below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.